Hi there, I'm Terry Austin, Pearson Faculty Advisor, and I'm here to show you a new assignment type coming to Mastering with Marib and Hohen's Human Anatomy Physiology 10th Edition. This particular assignment type is called Concept Map, and you can see a nice little tutorial as you start this up. We have linking phrases, which live on the right side of the workspace, terms, which live on the left side of the workspace, and the way you do this activity is you drag a linking phrase onto the workspace and use it to connect two terms. Once you've done that, you've created what's called a proposition, and you arrange the propositions in order to show what you've learned in the chapter. These, at least in my mind, are probably best done once a student has completed the chapter and they give them a nice way to frame what they've learned as they've gone through the chapter. There are typically many different ways to correctly arrange the concept map. In order for a student to get full credit for the concept map, though, they've got to use each term and each linking phrase at least once. All the propositions have to be scientifically correct, and every single proposition must connect to another proposition. If there are any incorrect propositions, the students may still get partial credit. With that said, let's take a quick look at how to work with the concept map type assignment. I'll click start here to close our tutorial. In this demo, we're looking at a concept map of protein synthesis, and I'm going to grab the first of the linking phrases and drag it onto our work area. Uh, we're working with protein synthesis, so I will begin by getting the term protein synthesis, and we'll start putting this together. I will say protein synthesis as a first major step, and I'll go ahead and grab this next linker, second major step, and we'll start to talk about the various pieces. I think you probably know where this is going already. The first major step, of course, is transcription. The second major step is translation. What other linkers have I got here? Let's say is carried out. So a transcription is carried out by RNA polymerase. Translation is carried out by a ribosome. We have occurs in. So let's say, let's actually use that one twice. And we'll say transcription occurs in the nucleus. Translation occurs in the cytoplasm. We're getting close to being done. I'm going to pull in this linking term. Translation requires a nucleic acid with an anticodon called the tRNA molecule. And the tRNA molecule, let's rearrange a little bit here, transfer specific amino acids to produce a polypeptide. It's a little busy and we can actually drag this around and clean this up a little bit. You certainly don't have to, but uh, Sometimes it helps the student to neaten the appearance and make this a little bit easier to read. But whenever you're happy, you click Finish. And it says we're about to submit our map for completion. I'm going to do that. And it shows me all of the correct and potentially incorrect propositions. Looks like I did a pretty good job on this one, though. So I should be getting full credit. If the student wants to know how they're graded, they can click the How Am I Graded. And we have a nice little explanation down here at the bottom that explains what I told you at the beginning of this video. You have to reuse all the terms, use all the linking phrases at least once. All the propositions in the map have got to be correct, and every proposition has got to be linked to another proposition. And it looks like I did a pretty good job on meeting those requirements here. So uh, that has been concept mapping in the Maribyn Hohen 10th edition. Thanks.